Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about performance rotors, drilled, vented, and slotted, and why you may or may not want each of these individual features. And a shout out to Car Park Kings for sending the brake rotors to use in this video. You can check out the video description for relevant links. Diving right in, starting with vented disc brakes, this is very commonly used on the front brakes for cars. And so basically what the purpose of this is, is to allow for better cooling. So you've got your two plates, and then there's an air gap between them to help evacuate that heat. And sometimes you'll actually notice uh, they've got curved veins, and so this kind of turns it into a small pump, and so it basically pumps the air out and helps to evacuate that heat uh, and allow for better cooling and longer lasting rotors uh, that don't fade as you get into higher temperatures. Okay, moving on to drilled rotors, and this is where you simply just drill through it, uh, so you've got some little air holes in it, and this is something that used to be a little bit more useful, and these days it isn't really anymore, uh, but basically you have bonding agents in the pad that breaks down at high heat, uh, especially true for older pads, uh, they use different materials, modern ones aren't quite as bad, uh, and so this these bonding agents, as they break down, it creates this layer of gas, and so that layer of gas prevents your pad from touching the rotor uh, because of that pressure in between. So these holes allow for that gas to travel out, as well as any uh, particulate uh, debris from the, the pads themselves, or water, if you get any water or steam on it, helps that uh, evacuate through these holes. Now the bonding agents, uh, these days are much better, so you don't really have that gas gap in there. Um, and so there's some, there's some disadvantages of this as well. So you may think, oh, it's got all these air holes, that's gonna be better for cooling. Well, the other thing you need to think about is you have a reduced surface area and you have less mass to reject heat into. So it's not necessarily a beneficial trade-off. Also, these holes become stress points during wide range heat cycles, uh, and this can lead to cracking. So, because, you know, if you're going really fast into a corner, you slam on the brakes, and then you accelerate up to a high speed again, these are gonna go through a very uh, large temperature change, and so these holes are gonna be cooler than the areas around them, and so you're gonna have these large temperature differentials throughout the brake, and what that's gonna do is uh, start to cause the rotor to fail, and you'll have cracks in there because of the stresses associated with it. So honestly, uh, in racing, these really aren't used. Um, you know, they're, they're just not that, uh, their advantages don't pay off or their disadvantages uh, because they can fail uh, and have cracking due to the stresses in the holes. Um, so not ideal for racing, too weak. Uh, and also, as I mentioned previously, the new pad compounds have improved and so you don't really have this gas layer uh, between the pad and the rotor like you used to. So why do you see drilled rotors on uh, like AMG cars, on Ferraris, on high-end uh, street-based cars. Well, because it looks awesome, and it does look awesome, um, but honestly, that's pretty much it. And you know, the other thing is, they can be built strong enough for street applications, uh, so it's not necessarily an advantage to use them, uh, but they look cool, and they can be built strong enough to last. If you're gonna do it yourself, I wouldn't recommend using drilled, uh, but nonetheless, um, yeah, they're used on, on performance cars because it makes them look pretty awesome. Moving on to slotted, and these serve basically the same purpose as drilled. You're giving that debris somewhere to evacuate uh, or those gases, uh, and it also can help wipe that pad clean uh, through each rotation, and it can also provide an additional biting surface, that leading edge, uh, and that unfortunately can lead, of course, to increased pad wear. But these are actually used in racing, uh, unlike drilled, and so it can add some benefits. Um, so in professional racing applications, what will you see? Uh, we'll pretty much always see vented. Um, you may see slotted, and you'll rarely, if ever, see uh, drilled as it has the stress disadvantage I mentioned earlier. Now, they'll also do other things uh, to improve braking. So you can change the diameter of the rotor, make it larger, but sometimes you're restricted by your wheel size, so you can make it thicker. Uh, like, for example, in rally racing, uh, they're restricted to 15-inch wheels, so that really limits their brake rotor size, so they make them wider and you gotta make sure that those are well vented uh, because you've got a large mass uh, within that. And then also brake ducts for cooling. So if you can get airflow to the brakes, that's you know significantly better uh, way to cool them than some of the other methods out there. Uh, and just as some examples, uh, the Subaru rally car that I checked out, that one used uh, slotted rotors. And then the Nissan LMP1 car that I checked out, that one just used plain vented rotors. And so what is the best option? Well, pretty much vented is, is a good bet to go with, um, and then either plain on the exterior or slotted, uh, and you know, you can probably stay away from drilled unless you just think it looks really cool and you don't really care about the fact that it's going to probably fail before these other two options. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.